you mentioned it before i'm I'm curious how do you become more self aware or what what have you seen in in the last ten years what what changed the single biggest self awareness hack or the single biggest thing that has changed my self awareness is having podcast conversations with people because when I hear someone else talk, when I hear about their story, I start to bounce my own story off of that. What would I have done in this situation? How do I feel about the way that they approached this? Would I have made the same decision as they did given the same circumstances? Or, you know, there, there there's so many sparks firing in my brain when I'm having these conversations. The The, the best way to reflect is, is essentially with a mirror or from these case studies where you're, you're understanding these different examples or you're, you're evaluating your, your role playing in your brain. And I've learned a tremendous amount about myself from just having those conversations. People also ask you questions. So when I'm prompted and, and I'm caught off guard or, or there's that moment of like, Oh, you kind of, Oh shoot, what do I do? You start to really, get honest with yourself at a certain point in time. I also meditate quite a bit. I think that that's really important. I journal, I write things down. I, if a thought comes to me, I really, I really just focus on it and try to make space rather than always just looking at my phone all the time, which is becoming harder and harder. But I think one of the most valuable things that you can do is just give yourself time to think something, you know, I I grew up as an only child. And high five. my entire childhood, I <laughs> high five yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and to me, I, I was used to spending time alone. I get around a lot of people, and they're they're scared of their own thoughts. They're scared to be alone. They're, they they always need someone around. And I don't. I think it's very difficult to find happiness if you're uncomfortable without silence, without, you know, you're uncomfortable with silence, you're uncomfortable with just hearing your own thoughts and and being in a room by yourself. Boredom is a different thing. But discomfort with your mind is, is the scariest thing for me, because I, I genuinely I'm very extroverted. But I still enjoy time to myself. Because, you know, it's, 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 it was my baseline for for quite a long time when, when I was growing up.